Hi guys, OneNote and Notion are two services to take notes. Both apps have their own unique features that make them great for different purposes. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between OneNote and Notion and will consider 8 criteria to see how these two tools suck up. OneNote is an excellent app for taking notes and organizing your thoughts with features like drawing, images, and tables. Notion is a note-taking app that allows for managing projects, to-do lists, reminders, calendars, and databases. We will leave a link below this video in which you can get a free trial for Notion, so you can also try it out for yourselves, risk-free. So let's find out which one is better for you. For the user interface, bots offer an easy-to-navigate design. You get notebooks and pages on the left of OneNote, while the open page is on the right. Being considered a part of the Office family, it takes some of its look from other Office apps. The interface is intuitive, making the experience of using the application an enjoyable one. You can instantly see how to use this software with almost no instruction at all. Compared with Notion, which has a much more complex interface, OneNote's user experience is simple and it does not take much time to get used to it. Notion interface is a bit complex at first and may take some time to get used to it. You get a blank space and it uses the building blocks to create a workspace and add content to it. The building blocks open up a lot of possibilities to fully customize the workspace the way you want. It also comes with many pre-built templates that are easy to import and start using right away. However, if you need something custom or unique, then there is nothing stopping you from creating your own templates. There are plenty of options for customization in terms of color, fonts, layouts, etc. And for taking notes, because OneNote is primarily a note-taking app, it includes numerous note-taking specific features to assist you in taking better notes. Aside from jotting down your ideas, you can also include images, videos, tables, math equations, and other elements in your notes. OneNote has a unique feature that allows you to draw inside your notes using various drawing tools. OneNote browser extensions are also available to easily clip web pages. What else? OneNote can create policies and numbered lists and prioritize notes based on importance using tags like importance and to do. This simplifies accessing notes that matter most. While this note taking tool supports many fonts, it limits how deep users can go when creating pages within pages. In other words, you can add several sub pages inside the page when creating notes, which would have simplified creating an easy to track content hierarchy. Notion lets you create content inside pages and can also work as a note-taking app. Notion uses the building blocks, which can be text, to-do lists, numbered and bulleted lists, audio, table, file, video, code, and much more. The best note-taking feature of Notion is that it works like a writing tool, like Google Docs and Microsoft Word. This means you can format your contents with headings, making your notes easily scannable and readable. You can also use bullets and numbered lists. However, the tool only supports three fonts. So Notion and OneNote both offer great note-taking features. OneNote is easy to use and offers simple tools. OneNote has paragraphs and headings for contents while Notion uses different blocks. Notion likes to draw in tools features that OneNote has, but still provides a good alternative if you are looking for an all-in-one solution. The main difference between these two platforms lies in their functionality. For the privacy and security, unlike OneNote, you can password protect files in Notion. However, you have the power to control who accesses what files in the app. You can set permissions that separate private content from public nodes, so you can still share what you want others to see without worrying about people accessing your personal stuff. On the other hand, OneNote allows you to add passwords to your personal nodes, hence making them very secure. However, you can't forget the password encrypts in your nodes. Not even Microsoft support can help you retrieve the password if you forget it. The password protection feature does not apply to audio and video files in OneNote. Apart from that, Microsoft servers are some of the best and the most secure servers in the whole world, so the app is relatively safe to use in itself. For the integrations, OneNote supports integration with 29 apps. Some of them are Check, Tax.com, Fitly, and WordPress. Furthermore, by connecting OneNote with Zapier, you can integrate the app with hundreds of apps. Notion, on the other hand, 
can work with 30 apps. With Zapier and Automist.io, you can also connect to over thousands of other apps. It also offers its API to create your integrations. And for the platform availability, Notion's desktop and mobile apps don't provide advanced features to meet one of its major marketing points, task management. Notion project's management functionalities are not advanced enough to empower seamless collaboration. It lacks features like time tracking, built-in Gantt charts, and OKRs that you would expect from a task management tool. While OneNote is available for all devices, its Android app lacks valuable features like arithmetic calculations, shape and pencil tools, symbols. If these features matter to you, OneNote's Android app may not be the note taking app you are looking for. For the sharing, OneNote on the desktop supports sharing of notebooks. You can send the view and edit permissions. You can also send a copy of the notes via email or Skype. Sharing of public URLs is also supported. Like editing tools, OneNote's Android has no collaboration features. You can, however, share a copy of the notes and other apps. On the iPhone, you can set permissions and share notebooks to collaborate in real time. Notion is similar to OneNote in many ways, but has some unique benefits that make it a better choice for some people. For example, Notion lets you attach files directly from your computer desktop so everyone can see them simultaneously. Notion mobile app allows sharing documents publicly and through email invitations. You can allow invited users to view, comments, edit contents in database, or have complete access. And for the exporting options, OneNote Sprint function allows you to print or export notes in PDF format. The desktop app also supports exporting as XPS and single web page files. Notion supports exporting notes as PDF, HTML, and Markdown sheets. And for the pricing, Notion offers four plans. The personal plan, free for personal use to organize your life. You have access to unlimited blogs and pages and the ability to share with five guests. You are also able to sync across devices and use their API. The personal pro plan, $4 per month built annually or $5 built monthly. You get all the feature options in the personal plan as well as unlimited file upload, unlimited guests, and 30-day version history. And for the team plan, $10 per month, you get everything you get in the personal pro plan as well as unlimited team members, collab workspace, sharing permission, and admin tools. Enterprise is also available for large teams, and you have to speak to the sales team if you want to look into this option more. If you want a good deal and you want a project management tool that is going to really help you put things in order, then Notion is a great option. OneNote is free to download, although you can unlock premium features with a Microsoft Office 2019 or Microsoft 365 subscription. Microsoft 365 account starts at $7 per month. So choosing between OneNote and Notion depends on your business and your needs. Pick OneNote if you really have an Office 365 subscription to enjoy the premium features. It's also suitable for you if your work involves a lot of budget skipping and simple arithmetic. It comes with a built-in calculator that simplifies work and keeps you from needing to leave the app. On the other hand, Notion is suitable for note takers who prefer to arrange their work in headings. Notion offers other perks like a pool of icons and text colors to easily distinguish key points in your notes. Regardless of your choice, OneNote and Notion are superb apps for note taking and organizing your projects. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description that helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out and yeah, bye bye.